Hi boys and girls, happy story time. For today's story, I'm going to be telling you the tale of the little red hen. I love this story because at the end, there's a really great lesson. So when I'm finished, I'm gonna be talking to you about what this book even means and how we can go about being just like the little red hen. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen. She had a farm and she lived with her three friends. She lived with Miss Piggy. And Miss Piggy was very selfish. She didn't like to help anybody. She lived with Mr. Dog, who was very lazy and slept all day long. And she lived with Miss Cat, who was very vain and stared at herself in the mirror all day long. Well, the little red hen worked very hard taking care of her farm, cooking the meals, and doing the laundry. One day, as she was going out for a walk, she found something really cool. <gasps> wow, look it, I found seeds to plant. These are grains of wheat. <gasps> if I plant them, I can make something delicious. Who will help me plant these grains of wheat? Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the kitty cat. Well, I'll plant them myself. So she did. She took those grains of wheat and she planted them herself. La la la, this is hard work, but it's going to be worth it. Wow, when the grains of wheat grow, who will help me take care of them? Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. I'll do it myself. So the grains of wheat grew and grew. Oh boy, let me take care of it. Give it lots of water and sunshine. As the grain of wheat continued to grow, the little red hen had to thrash and cut it down. Who will help me thrash this wheat? Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Then I'll do it myself. So she did. She cut and thrashed the wheat down. Who will help me take the wheat to the mill, she asked. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Well, I guess I'll do it myself. So she took the wheat to the mill to be turned into flour. When she arrived home, she asked, Wow, who will help me take this flour and make this into bread? Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Well, I guess I'll do it myself. So she did. She worked very hard mixing and pouring and measuring and make, turning the flour into bread. When she was ready to place it in the oven, here we go. We'll pour the bowl in. Shh, this is hard work, but it's going to be worth it. She put it in the oven pretty soon. Delicious smells were coming from the kitchen, and her three friends ran in to see what it was. Hmm, it sure smells good in here, said Miss Pig. Yeah, that smells delicious, said Mr. Dog. I'd like to have some of that, said Miss Cat. Hmm, okay. So when the bread was done, the little red hen took it out of the oven, and she said to her friends, who will help me eat this bread? I will, said the pig. I will, said the dog. I will, said the cat. No, said the little red hen. You did not help me. I did all this work. Who was the one who found the wheat, planted the wheat, and took care of it? Who thrashed it, then took it to the mill to be turned into flour? Who made the bread and baked it herself? You didn't help me, so I'm going to eat it myself. Delicious! 
and she enjoyed her bread herself. The end. So boys and girls, uh, the moral of this story is when you don't help out and you're lazy or don't want to help a friend, that's not really fair, right? The little red hen did all the work. She worked so hard, so she deserved to have that bread. So what do you think would have happened if her friends offered to help her make that bread? Do you think they would have had a piece and she would have shared? Yeah, absolutely. That would have been a really nice thing to do. So remember, when you're home, make sure that you're helping your mommies, your daddies, um, your grandparents, or aunts, uncles, whoever you are with, make sure you're helping them out at home, right? There's a lot of things to be done, so it's great to be helpful. So uh, if you want to maybe make something in the kitchen, you can ask your mom or dad or someone to cook something with you. Share with me your special meal that you made and have it together, just like the little red hen. All right, I hope you have an excellent evening and until tomorrow, bye-bye.